thankfully we do have an urban room in Nottingham and it's one of the vehicles we use um, as a forum. It's a neutral forum, um, NDSA, RIBA, the City Council, both universities and a lot of other uh, organizations, Historic England, they formed a partnership and um, we now have this, this room, which is both a physical and a virtual thing where people can go and comment and talk and debate and come up with ideas. It has a website, you can go on and uh, look at what we're doing there. But um, essentially, I think the model of the urban room, why it's working well at the moment, and it's been working for the past two years really exceptionally well, is that the concept is that we don't consult on a site-by-site -site basis or on a development-by-development -development basis. We simply open the dialogue of placemaking to the city as a whole, and we continue that dialogue throughout. And if a development comes along, and if a site becomes available, there is that platform. There are the networks, there's the partnerships, there's people who know where, where to go. And all of that infrastructure, which is a social infrastructure, as well as a physical and virtual one, is there to establish a dialogue. And the dialogue is continuous rather than just go and let's, let's look at this particular model of house. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about what things look like in the urban room. We're talking about what can we do to have a better Nottingham mm -hmm. in all sense. Do we need to plant more trees? Do we need to grow more food in the city? All sorts of different things. It's not necessarily about the building either. It's about what kind of life we want to live. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the way to engage personally. Mm 